Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the Gizwiz is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest writer Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1489, recorded Thursday, October 9th, 2014. Up in smoke. This episode of the Gizwiz is brought to you by BarkBox, a monthly box of high quality, fun, and healthy goodies for your dog, delivered right to your door. Save 20% when you sign up for a new subscription. Visit BarkBox.com slash Gizwiz. That's BarkBox.com slash Gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick. Last week, Dickie D went to multiple shows to bring you the best gadgets, and I follow up with a spooky, crappy corner. All next. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG Chad on Twitter. TV. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! Oh my gosh, I hope that you are ready for this fantastic show of the Gizwiz. And here he is, the Gizwiz himself. Dickie D. Bartolo, how are you doing? How are you, sir? I'm doing fantastic. Can you see I bought what you suggested as one of your crappy corner gadgets last week? I did. I it's did. running in the background. Uh, we, and as we'll see for people who care to stay to the end of the show, the that you and I got hosed. We got really <laughs> hosed. Um, we really did. But as a person who wants instant gratification, I had it in two days, so that was worth something. <laughs> was it worth it, though? <laughs> was it worth the, the... We'll find out later in the letter. We'll find out later, um, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And you went to both all of your shows. Uh, the yes, last week we did... Uh, I went to Time to Play Showcase, and we have one more gadget from that. And then I went to the Luxury Pavilion Show, and I have two gadgets from that. One is... Tens of thousands of dollars, wow. and one is hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm so excited! Um, but they each have very unique features. So even if you're not going to run out and buy them, it's not an impulse buy. Let, let's put it that. <laughs> I, uh, if it is an if, impulse buy, uh, my phone number is. I was just going to say, if and it's you an can impulse become buy, my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> if you're, it's an impulse buy and you're on the East Coast, I'm your best friend. <laughs> right. If it's an impulse buy on the West Coast, Chad is your best friend. Right. right. Absolutely. Well, that's Absolutely. awesome. You know, I, this last week, I really didn't do anything. I, uh, you know, life as usual, basically. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I got a first look at Mad December. So oh, that cool. what, that's what people will be playing for when we do oh, the What the Heck Is It? Oh, yep. Nice. Um, and you're not in it, but it, uh, this is oh. a surprise to me. I ended up in it again. <laughs> uh, uh, with a totally different Oh, that's looking great. Dick D. Bartell. You know, if you want to pretend you're standing next to me. Yeah, I mean, I'm the guy tell... with the, with. they got the hair color yellow and that I don't yeah, have glasses. Exactly. And, uh, exactly. And, uh, oh, Jeff exactly. says that's him. Jeff Needles That's says him. Oh, okay, Jeff. it's Jeff. That's good. They finally that's got good. Jeff in. That, yeah, I worked hard. I worked so hard to get him in. Yes. Uh, um, and up till 30 seconds ago, I didn't even know he was in there. But now I realize it is him. You thought it was a hopeless battle. But little did you know, there was hope still to be had. And now exactly. Jeff can stop talking about how he's not in a Mad Magazine uh, <laughs> later in my office when he comes in every day. Oh, okay. Talks mm. about it. Okay. Okay. <sighs> so, uh, <laughs> with that, I guess let's let's jump in. To the first gadget. Okay, the, the first gadget. I, I mean, kids today are so incredibly lucky with things that they can have, assuming they have very generous parents. And uh, if I was a kid, I would just die to have one of these. So let's go to the Time to Play Holiday Showcase for our first gadget. 
Dictee Bartolo Maz Mattis Dreiter and the Gizwiz. You know, if you know the Gizwiz, native New Yorker, never owned a car in his life because there's no place to park. I found something that will fit in a small parking space. Let's look at this guy. This is from Kid Tracks. Wow. And this is really super. I'm going to open the door here. And you know what? There. Wow. There you go. And we're going to get Kevin in here to tell us a little bit about this. Kevin? Thank you. So Kevin has Kevin, but spelled? K-E-V-A-N. A-N. So Kevin, tell me a little bit about the Kia Soul. This is the Kia, the Kid Track Sing Along Soul from Kid Tracks. Um, it's modeled after the Kia Soul. And it's a 12 volt battery powered ride-on. It seats two kids. It has two speeds. It has a forward and reverse. It also goes two and a half miles per hour, and well, it goes five miles per hour. So that we sure. can, I'm going to have you put it in party mode without the music Whoa, for a minute, okay. so we can <laughs> see dancing lights. Well, it it'll go on, and we'll ex we'll show you all of the LED lights that can flash and, it, okay, and do uh, it. Do it. Turn it on. I love lights. Over a hundred so, LEDs. Wow. Do the uh, do the glasses come with it? They do. You they can, really do. You cannot be a pop star without your pop star glasses. You get glasses. So you have to it. have That's the glasses. That's great. Okay, so now you can see that there are over a hundred LED lights on the car, and they come in three modes. They come in on, off, and party mode. You know, I see like microphones kind of back here. There are two microphones, working microphones, so that you can sing along to your favorite song. And do the lights, uh, do play a little music so we can see the lights uh, dance around. So it's in on mode right now, so you can play your song and just have the lights on, or you can put it in party mode and your lights what? will dance along with the music. Now, I also hear music from the cabin, so there's speakers in inside the front yes and um, you'll see once the song changes the lights come back on and so you can sing along with the, you know with the FM radio or one of the mp3 player jacks now I see we have tail lights we have headlights we have working headlights we have working fog lights and we have working daytime running running lights basically this is it's really great now it's is this on road approved now <laughs> it's on toysrus.com for pre-order it comes in three different colors Whoa. it comes in There's orange on purple and your signature green isn't that amazing it'll Under be body in stores lights. in late october God, that looks and it's really good a toys are us exclusive the kia soul so i'm going to get in this and just drive around looking for more stuff dick t bartolo mads mattis writer and the gizwiz with another one take theater here on twit bye I got to say, that's a, uh, amazing. I remember <laughs> as a kid, there was, it was Big Wheels, something like that. Uh, I forget, I forget the name. Yeah, I think there was a Big Wheels It thing. was like Big, or maybe like Motor Wheels, I, I forget. I wanted one so bad. Um, I never got one because they were really expensive. But the detail on that Kia Soul is amazing. <laughs> the headlights really look like real he headlights. <laughs> And the underbody lights, I don't know what the official name is for yeah. them, that, that light under the car and headlights and taillights. And I think she said fog lights, FM radio. This is the only toy where you go in and they, hey, uh, would you like rust proofing? Uh, yeah. The deluxe yeah. Chrome if you want to, yeah. If you want the clear coat on the car, I'm sorry, it's going to cost you an extra $25. Um, Someone in the chat room saying Big seats. Wheel was, was a bike with a big huge front wheel then that's true that's what i got instead power wheels scooter x scooter oh, x power got it wheels. power wheels is what i wanted what i got was big wheels <laughs> the big wheel yes okay. yes because big wheels you just use your legs power wheels had a battery just like just like this um okay that is with working doors i mean yeah that's kind of a an mp3 jack um and yeah. speakers in the back i mean that was really like yeah. Pimp my ride for pretty, children. Yeah, there's two jacks for uh, smartphones or or music plays. One one in the inside the car, one in the back for when you're singing along with the working microphones. Uh, it's three ninety nine ninety nine. It is only going to be a Toys R Us. And she said October, but just for laughs, I clicked the pre-order button, and I think it said shipping early November.
And the website does say uh, free shipping over $35 or over $50. So whatever it is, hopefully it's also free shipping. And it comes in, um, what did she say, purple, green. The green is nice. And uh, orange. So. I'm, I'm like, and just, I mean, if you just go through the features that I can remember, it was LED, 100 LED lights, MP3 jack in the front, MP3 bit jack in the back. Uh, uh, my, parent microphones. can set the speed. Yeah, it, uh, the parent can set the speed for a top of five miles an hour, or they can set it for a top of two and a half miles an hour. Two microphones, so you can do karaoke. You had lights <laughs> throughout the like the entire thing. A actual door. I mean, that was reverse and forward. That's. Yes, hey, was, I'm kind of impressed. Um, and it doesn't take that much space to park it. <laughs> yeah, and you can park in the uh, in the bedroom space. Yes, in between cars. <laughs> in between um, beds. That is really, really neat. Yeah, that's uh, pretty I if, neat. I wonder it? if lane splitting with that is legal in California. Right. I bet right. it is. Right. I was, I'm try I was trying to think of some sidewalk joke, but I can't. Um, so there's that. But that's a pretty cool gadget, um, and any kid that gets that is incredibly lucky. Uh, exactly. So very cool. And this was at the luxury show, right? The, no. No. <laughs> no, they had so, the things at the luxury show, uh, as we said in the intro, are, are not uh, impulse buys because we're gonna. I'm gonna show you a, a motorcycle that is. I believe it starts at. Forty-five or thirty-five thousand dollars. Okay, it's and it's it's the Energica. down payment on most homes. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. It's the world. I'm, I'm going to read the, their quote: "The world's first all-electric superbike, built by the same people who designed and engineered racing performance for Formula One racing, to the Le Mans 24-hour race." They've been building it for over 40 years. The this is this is all electric. Wow. That that that's what's amazing. It is limited wow. to, to 150 miles an hour. So I assume it goes faster, but the limiter holds it to 150 miles an hour. It goes from zero to a hundred in under three seconds. Wow. Okay. And that's all on. Uh, a penny's worth of energy. And another great thing. So the range of it is 120 miles on a full charge. And when you charge it, it takes 30 minutes to reach 85% of full charge. Oh, wow. So, boy, if you ride this someplace and you have an hour to go eat someplace and can plug it in, uh, you can make another. Oh, so here's a little bit of video that I found on, on a YouTube and uh, actually, you know what, uh, Josh, if you can go to my website, th this video that they sent is is very long. But on my website, I found a little guy running it for about a, a minute and uh, 10 seconds. And it is really amazing. They're not going to be available until 2015. And I've only been a passenger on a motorcycle. Have you driven a motorcycle, Chad? Um, no. Well, yes, but not. Um, I've I've driven like a dirt bike, uh, and um, but it was like for a few a few trips. It was, I've never driven one uh, extensively, like as a, a actually a place to get from A to B. Um, uh, yeah. This, this, this. So uh, this is these are some of the color options. And uh, the one that was in the picture at the show, I think it was $45,000 in it. They were only going to make 45 of them. But look at how when this guy goes around turns, this to me is very scary. But evidently, this is something you do in a bike like that. Yeah, the, the wheels will move so fast that uh, it works a lot like uh, a gyroscope to make sure that... Oh, like, yeah, like the motorcycle guys in the cage that ride around yeah. and, and ride upside down? I think so. I think so. Um, yeah, and, and so it'll, it'll make sure that they don't actually like slip off, uh, off the road. Um, Burke is saying that this is two seconds faster... And two seconds is a lot of time. Two seconds faster than his bike when accelerating up to 60. Uh, the cool thing with electric is that there's no 
torque time. There's no you, you don't have to, there's no rev time because with a traditional gasoline engine, you have pistons moving that all yeah. include a whole bunch of momentum, and they have to kind of get up to speed. With an electric just, engine, it just goes. It's electricity. It's yeah. on. It starts to move um, uh, way that's faster. What, that's why it. Yeah, that's why it's zero to a hundred in in under three seconds. It's amazing. Uh, but the, uh, the, I think the lowest one was thirty-five thousand. That may. Wait, did you say zero to a hundred? Uh, zero to a hundred in under three seconds. Okay, we. I was talking about zero to sixty with the oh, no. Burke's oh. bike. So, so, sorry. <laughs> so you can do your own math. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, that's okay. Um, so uh, the wow. links to the company website are on uh, my website. The, the third thing I saw at the Wait, do you mind show. if I mention oh, one more thing? Just yeah, how do it. excited I am that these are hitting the market. Because while they are untenable now, to go from zero to 100 in that amount of time with that small amount of energy cost will eventually end up in consumer cars everywhere like that is super exciting like this is a jolt a, a jump from like candles to light bulbs like this is a jump from incandescent light bulbs to leds and yes. it will happen <laughs> sorry there's our other gadget is going off right now in the studio um this will eventually <laughs> yeah. make its way to consumer products and it is so exciting um, so I just wanted to mention that. that no, no, I, th like I, I think that's a, that's a super point, you know? Five years from now at the toy show, we'll have a Kia car that will go zero to yeah. 90 miles an hour in four seconds. Yeah, and this uh, that, will be a con that will be what becomes the standard thing that everyone buys. Yeah. Um, no, that, uh, that that is very exciting that that electricity uh, that electric motors are getting that sophisticated and that powerful that they develop that much torque is yeah. really great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and sorry. As you said for pennies. For pennies. Is, for yeah. pennies, it, it <laughs> is the electric cost of that acceleration. Um, really, really, really cool. Um, so anyway. Okay, so your third gadget. So the third gadget was I, I walk in. Uh, you probably haven't been. It, it's a it's a very small exhibition hall, very very pretty. It's called Metropolitan Pavilion, on West 18th Street. And I walk in, and there is an airplane, a full an size airplane. airplane. Right, no booth, just a man and an airplane. So obviously, <laughs> I had to go right over there, and we'll see. Uh, I'll talk to the guy for a bit. And then after the, the uh, video, I'll tell you a feature in it that I did not think would ever exist. But let's watch the video first. The keyboard Tolo man's made us try to end the Gizwiz. Uh, something a little different today. Oh, like majorly different. I'm in an airplane, and it's an airplane that you can buy. And I'm here with Eric, and Eric, what model is this? This is a Cirrus SR22T. It's a turbocharged, 200 horsepower, sorry, 300 horsepower, 200 knot airplane. And uh, what sort of speed would you get out of, uh, and this is propeller driven? Propeller driven. This plane will go about 230 miles an hour in level flight. And, and Eric, uh, what is the market for a, a plane like this? Well, we sell over 300 of these every year. We make about six every week. We've been selling them since 2000. We've sold over 5,000 of these airplanes. Uh, they're sold to doctors. They're sold to uh, business people that need to travel for business to sold to college places, kids as uh, far away uh, as you know, uh, South McDonald's Carolina, <laughs> Florida, Georgia. And the selling price is about 200,000, 700,000. Oh, we almost had them. You know, <laughs> we almost had them. 700,000 dollars. And it, 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 can you buy it outright, or can you lease it, or how does it work? Well, actually, you can pay cash for them if you want, and a fair number of our customers do. <laughs> but we offer financing up to 20 years. Wow. Payments are about $3,500 a month for our top-of-the-line airplane. You know, when you say for 20 years, so an airplane will last more than 20 years then? Oh, goodness. These airplanes are good for 40 or 50 years easily. 
That is amazing. It beats boating. Let me tell you that. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, cockpit here. This is beautiful. So everything is included for the seven hundred thousand dollars, and it's a two. It's a four seater. It's actually and uh, the website for your company is Cirrus Aircraft. We're we're based out of Duluth, Minnesota. And Cirrus is spelled C-I-R-R. -R. with. They like the clouds. Okay, <laughs> Dickie Bartolo, <laughs> man's Madness writer, and the Gizwiz with another one-take theater here on Twitch. Uh, you know, there are about 10 people in front of me, but I'm going to take off anyway. I'll, I'm going to go straight <laughs> up and hope I don't hit any of them. Bye. See you in liability court. Wow. So this, that, unlike the other product, you will probably not see in consumer products in five years. <laughs> no, no, no. But something that you might, uh, uh, first, first of all, this is their most deluxe model. I, I think they make planes down around, maybe it was 200,000, I can't remember. But Chad, this airplane, actually all the Cirrus airplanes have something called CAPS. It's hmm. the Cirrus Airframe Parachute System. If there's engine trouble, you fire the cap system, which sends a rocket up from the roof, which pulls up a parachute big enough to land the airplane. The whole and airplane? The, the whole airplane and the passengers. This is what they should have in commercial airlines. I want this so bad. Wow. This, would, this would take away my anxiety flying it so much. Is that amazing? That is amazing. And they, and now the thing is, in this video, they don't show where it lands. So the problem, you do still have a problem. <laughs> right. Of where, <laughs> right. if it comes down in the ocean, you're still in big trouble. Or on a person's house. <laughs> or the person's house. Yes. But I mean, you, the odds of surviving this, I, I, I'm just going to look at here. I think they said... That yeah, nine so far ninety five lives have been saved wow. as a direct result of the CAP system. And this and is all a, planes from them have this system. Oh, all planes from them have wow. the uh, the CAP system. Wow! So and they the, they do they have like this jet liner here. It looks like they have a jet. They have wow. a personal jet that is coming in twenty fifteen. That is so, so cool. Yeah, and uh, you know, I talked to Alex, your resident pilot, mm -hmm. and because you know, never owning a plane and twice being in a private plane, uh, you know, I I said, Do you know about the company Cirrus, and he said, absolutely, and uh, I don't know if he knew about the Caps system, but but he was the one who found that video for me, so that was really interesting. I, I too, personal uh, aircraft. Do worry me a little bit because I I don't know you know you have yeah. to really know the person flying like for example if I knew Alex is at the controls then I would know I wouldn't go up at all <laughs> so yeah. and if it was Josh if it was Josh no 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 Josh if it were me we, we, we if we if it were we, me we wouldn't be getting up in the first place <laughs> no yeah. I was gonna say if it was Josh we'd be at three thousand feet and and I would say Josh I don't hear an engine and Josh would say oh I oh, forgot uh, to start it I second. knew it, I knew that I said well how did we get up here and he said oh I fired the parachute system before we took off <laughs> we just went right off the runway it was amazing. That is, uh, I gotta say, if there was a plane that I was gonna buy, it would have a built-in parachute into it. Yeah. <laughs> me, me too. Wow, that is cool. And front on the inside, how was it? I assume it's all leather. You know, seats. yeah. You know, that the one that they had at the show was their top of the line. So it had a leather interior. It had these two Garmin 12-inch screens with with the Garmin uh, aviation system in it. Uh, it has something called flex seating. So if it's like three average sized people, you can fit five in the airplane. And I know that they had to totally redesign the cap system for this slightly bigger cockpit because now it weighed more. Uh, but they, and, and there's a video somewhere on their website about, I think they made something like 70 different rocket firings with different weights. I, I, they didn't use real aircraft in the testing mode, but they had like a pallet with weight on it, just equal to the aircraft and passengers. 
and kept firing it until they got a, the size parachute that they needed to gently land that much weight. That is amazing. So it's pretty amazing, isn't it? That is really cool. Um, I'd also like, I mean, obviously this isn't going to be an issue, but what's the wait time when you order a plane to when you get the plane? Oh, you know, you know that's very interesting. Does, I, I know does it ship that prime? That because <laughs> that would be great. You know, I think they just fire it at your house, you know. A, a drone, a, yeah. the world's biggest drone Inst brings Instead it. of caps, it's draps. The drone-applied <laughs> rocket system. Launching system. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, I know you sign up for a position, and I think they said 150 positions or 145 positions have already been taken for their private personal jet. Wow. So... Wow. You know, it's, it's like with, with a boat. If you buy a boat in the winter, you can usually get it delivered in the spring. If you wait until the end of spring going into summer, it's gonna, you, you're not going to get the boat that year. Yeah. So, and, and since this company bills just six a week, um, you know. That's really, really neat. That's so I have really no neat. idea, but it's that pretty is a neat. Yeah. Cool gadget to go get and sit in and and hang out in and. Oh uh, uh, yeah, you know, after I made the video, I, I I emailed the company and they didn't get back to me. I said I forgot to ask. How did you get that thing? <laughs> How did you get it in, in the, the building? Convention center. <laughs> The wings are like 38 and a half feet long, oh, and uh, yeah, it was pretty neat. Yeah, I think I think neat. a lot of times uh, we, the wings can come off, because I think they have to put it on like semis to ship it around and stuff like that. Right, but the, the thing is, this, this uh, little pavilion must have yeah. an amazing back door that I don't know about. That, that, But you're right, if they took the wings off, it's probably like driving a car inside. Right. It's probably just a little bit wider than a car. Right. But. That is a really cool thing to get to hang out in and see. And now, okay, so when you got into it, did they have to? Did you just walk along the wing to get in? Was there? Uh, a little it has a, it has a step below the wing. Oh, cool! Uh, you know, I said to the guy. The guy says, "You want to get in?" And I said, "Can I?" He said, oh, "Absolutely." He said, uh, "He showed me there's a grab rail uh, right on the body of the aircraft. There's a footstep that hangs down from the aircraft." So you step onto that, then you grab the handrail, you pull yourself up. There's a, the wing has some uh, anti-skid stuff on it, so you step on the wing, and then one foot into the cabin, and you're in. It's that pretty is nifty. Really neat. That was really pretty neat. nifty. Yeah. You're a lucky guy to get to go uh, hang out in that plane. Yeah, even even just sitting in it is great fun. Thinking. I'll never own one of Thinking, these. Thinking, really, yeah, 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 exactly. And I was making those sounds too. And the man said, "Could you not make those sounds?" <laughs> Stop, please. <laughs> this is a luxury show. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's not great. luxury weirdo show. <laughs> well, coming up, we have my crappy corner. We have the letter, which we've been teasing, and of course, the gadget warehouse. But first, we have to thank our sponsor for this episode, BarkBox. Now, you had BarkBox delivered to your door. I did. And your doggies loved it, I assume? Yes. But, well, you know, Dennis, my, uh, my spouse, Dennis, has Charlie, who's uh, just going to be two, but acts mm -hmm. like he's three months. Oh. That's Charlie. And when he, you know, any, I, I brought the box out. He w took everything. And, and Fairway, Fairway is 15. He's so old Fairway puppy. Said, yeah, Sally walked over and thought, oh, that's that's kids. <laughs> that I'm too sophisticated for this. That uh, is Fairway, great. I think, did, uh, well, after the video, Fairway ate most of the snacks. She's not beyond uh, eating snacks. <laughs> there she is checking out, checking out the towel. And Charlie's new favorite toy uh, is the pretzel. Wow. Which, uh, which he took up to his apartment. And it came with this uh, towel that is for wet dogs, which is great because when they come in from, sometimes they have emergencies and it's pouring out and they're brave enough, they run out in the rain. So the, uh, that towel is, is, is like a giant sponge for dogs. And this is uh, some barbecue snacks that Charlie is very excited about. Yeah. <laughs> So BarkBox was a big hit with the kids. That is awesome. And if you can't tell already, BarkBox is a subscription service for your dog, 
where uh, every month they'll send you a box of high quality, fun, healthy treats, toys, and goodies for your dog. Um, there's around four to six items uh, in each of the boxes. You can choose which type of dog you have. So if you have a small dog, you're gonna get things for your small dog. And of course, if you have a humongous dog, uh, you'll get things for a large dog uh, at all, as well. Um, there's uh, the BarkBox uh, edible products do not include uh, rawhide or anything processed or anything from uh, formaldehyde. Um, so it's, it's wonderful for your dog. And everything is, as they say, paw tested by their office pups with your do dogs in mind so that they will love every single box. I gotta say, uh, this uh, you, you get a box for yourself, you get a box for your snacks, and your dog is missing out, you need to get a bark box for your loved one in your life, your dog. Um, I think that's great. If you want to save 20% off of a new subscription to BarkBox, we have the hookup. So when you sign up at BarkBox.com slash Gizwiz, that gets you 20% off when you sign up for a new subscription. Um, BarkBox also gives 10% of the revenue to local rescue shel and shelters, rescues and shelters across U.S. and Canada. So your subscription will also help dogs in need. So someone else can have uh, Yeah, their that's own. great. Yeah. That's great. And, and also, the, they're reasonable for what's in there because if you go to a pet store and get a couple of toys and a couple of treats, you're in for far more money than a, uh, a Bark Box is. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a, I think it's a great product. Um, so at barkbox.com slash gizwiz is It's you, Charlie approved. It's Charlie approved. And, same and thing Fairway with Fairway. Too. Fairway too. Um, thank you, Barkbox, for your support of the Gizwiz. So now And now that leaves the entrance to Chad's <laughs> Oh wait, we have a special. I forgot. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Whoa. So. Amazing, amazing. We are continuing the Halloween theme of my is crappy the set on corner. Fire? The set is not on fire. We are in the Halloween mode. It's wow, we are. Spooky. Whoa. So uh, today we are showing off a few uh, uh, fog machines. Uh, these, you know, you, you buy fog machines to make your house spooky. Um, and I have two different versions. Uh, we have a sort of a, uh, uh, I forget, oh, I'm not turning it on. Um, oh, no, it is turning on. It's just warming up. Um, we have a uh, fog machine that uses uh, water, and then we have a fog machine that uses uh, this water-based fog liquid. Do, or does this one use the fog liquid too? No, they just both do. So both of them do. Uh, one okay. is smaller and one is larger. Um, uh, we don't now. These are older products. Both of these came from Karsten, um, and so we are using. And then we we're, we've set up. We're going to set up lights here to kind of get the whole fog machine experience here. Um, wow! There we go. We, I think we need more fog. Do you mind? Holding, giving me the uh, the remote for the. Uh, there we go. We're gonna fog oh. it up in here. Now this uses a water-based uh, fog solution uh, to That's to get. That's good. And I don't know if you can see. This is a, we have an uh, a whole um, uh, what's the word? Laser system here uh, for that. Um, and then <laughs> everything has to warm up and get ready uh, for us to, uh, to use the fog machine. So the larger one, which is sitting over here on, uh, on this table here, uh, this one is a thousand watt uh, fog machine. You can still buy these um, online. Uh, we found one at the Spirit of Halloween. Uh, it costs around $80. Uh, you have a reservoir for the uh, fog solution right here on the back. Um, Karsten went ahead and, and he has a, uh, a little control unit. So we, he has wow. a, a timer, has power on here, it has the manual button to start the fog process to go in. Um, and then you have your interval and your duration uh, sliders on the top. Um, I believe this was an extra accessory. If you don't want all that, there's also just a normal sort of toggle on and off 
uh, if, uh, and I believe that's included in in the fog machine. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the uh, there's the toggle thing. Uh, let's see if we can get this guy going. Oh, don't hold it. Don't hold it. Hold it level. Okay. We have to wait for the green to turn on. We have to wait for the green to turn on. Okay, so we'll we'll wait for a little bit on that. Um, fog solution. Uh, this. Um, this uh, bucket over this U.S. gallon of fog liquid. Uh, this will cost around $20. Um, and I was trying to figure out, whew, I was trying to figure out before the show, um, what is the thing in it that causes uh, the fog to happen? Um, and I don't think we ever figured that out, did we? I was hoping... You know, that I, thought, I thought it was... <clears throat> it's not vaporizing water? It's a water-based... Uh, solution. Water, water base is good because when I had Disco Dicks, we had oil generated fog. Whew. Yeah. Which was really lethal. Lethal? <laughs> lethal? Well, I, I, I had a friend who came by the marina, Ralph Evanrude, who <clears throat> invented Evanrude motors, and I gave him a demo, not knowing he only had one lung. <laughs> and he went out of my houseboat coughing and gasping oh, and I, no. I thought <laughs> yes i thought oh my gosh oh wow um <laughs> yeah so this so one what you have there is is uh, way better yeah this one here the small oh there we go this is the tinier one i was hoping that we yeah, could I, uh, you know i looked on amazon it seems like the tiny one is 400 watts yeah this one's 400 watts and on amazon it costs around oh you know we have to it's around 30 dollars if you get it used um, uh, I'm trying to think what's the best way to, because we, you can't actually see <laughs> most of the, uh, of the lights shining through the fog, which is of course the coolest, uh, part of the whole experience. So let me, um, I'm going to just start Shut moving some around. some more lights off. Yeah, I'm going to move around some of these cameras to, uh, Oh, I see. I'm, I'm, oh, okay, good. I'm super on now. So my monitor's off. Very good. Right, right, right. We wanted you to I'm be floating. digitally I'm floating. added there. I'm floating. Help. So, I feel like I'm in a pinball machine. Um, if I take... Ding, 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 ding. Uh, this one, <laughs> I don't think we'll reach, no. Dang. Um, okay, so let's point this right at the camera. Um, do, 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 do. You can take me off camera for a second so and that we can just see the whole full screen. See what we get. No, you are not seeing that. It's, uh, it's pretty no. subtle. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey. there. There we are. Teamwork. Uh, teamwork. We'll, we'll, we'll make these lasers show up. Um, and now the entire studio is super duper foggy. Um, but yeah, so this is the, uh, the laser show happening here at the Brick House currently. Um, I think I ran this one out. Through all of, all of the fog machines. I gotta say, I was kind of impressed with the, I, I thought they would be a lot more expensive, like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. You know what? When I bought mine, I think it was $229. Wow. So now that you can get a really heavy duty one for 80 bucks, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, turn. Um, you have to point the light right into the lens, basically, in order for, uh, for it to see it. There it is. Oh. Um, Wait a minute, I think an aircraft is coming and it's following that beam. It's going <laughs> to land. Yeah, we may have to make sure. Uh, by the way, if you're using lasers, don't ever point them into the yeah. scene. Oh. There, perfect. Now you're talking. Yeah, so this is our laser light show uh, fueled by fog uh, that we got <laughs> going on here um, at the Brick House. I got to say, this this 400-watt one, I'm really impressed with, uh, with how... Um, how much smoke is uh, shot out of it? Um, oh, good. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, we have the 1,000-watt one. We'll just basically just keep going on and on and on forever. There it goes. Um, yeah, I got to oh, say. When it goes off, it's good. Yeah. Woo! So if we bring up the lights, what is this? Is this place just going to look super-duper uh, foggy? Because, yeah. I'd say that was, uh, yeah. it's a little bit <laughs> foggy in here at the moment. <laughs> Woo! Um, yeah, anyway, so that is, uh, we that have is pretty neat. two fog machines for you. Uh, we are using uh, the, uh, the disco lights that we, uh, 
We showed off. <laughs> I mean, it really looks like something's on fire in here. Uh, if <laughs> um, Luckily. Wow. Is Jeff, is that the $80 machine Jeff has? Jeff is using the $80 machine right there. Yeah, okay. Um, wow. Yeah. And now, yeah. Whew. Uh, and this is this little little 400 watt one. Um, here, let me point it at the camera here. Okay. Um, that's doing a nice job. I got to say, I think it was doing a pretty good job. Now he's also shooting the uh, 1000 watt one into it. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, you can even see the beams. Whew. And now you can sort of see, see the beams in it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's coming into my apartment no now. No joke. Um, wow. Meow. Um, yeah, it's fun. I gotta say, it's uh, it's a ton of fun. Um, and if you put this in your uh, in your front porch, it would definitely make an impression uh, ha at Halloween. Or if you put it in your bedroom, you'll really piss off the dean of your college. <laughs> <laughs> or you'll die. One of the two. Um, <clears throat> so those are our fog machines. Thank you, Karsten, for allowing us to uh, borrow these guys for our Gizwiz show. Um, and we'll have links to uh, where you can purchase your own on uh, gizwiz.biz. Biz, yes. Woohoo! So Perfect. now Perfect. it is time for Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Yeah! They're geeky and they're goofy Together they are loopy When gadgets pass away He takes them out to play In Dick's Gadget Warehouse Hello and welcome to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. What do you got for us this uh, week? We have a gadget warehouse video that starts with an email. Hi, Dick, Chad, and Jeff. My gadget is a Simpson Model 1000 tube tester. I remember getting funny looks from my coworkers when I would burst into laughing while listening to the Daily Gizwiz on my first MP3 player, a Creative Zen Micro Photo 8 gigabytes. I remember the first two shows on my Daily Playlist, Buzz Out Loud and the Daily Gizwiz. The Zen put them alphabetically. Uh, Dick, you and Chad make a great team. I look forward to many more years of Gizwiz hilarity. Aw, thanks. Dennis Stevens... And here is Dennis Stevens' uh, gadget warehouse video. Hi, Dick and Chad. Welcome to my gadget warehouse. Well, really more of a gadget closet. <laughs> but just like the original, it's full of crap. I mean, highly collectible items, of course. <laughs> Favorite items. A bunch of computer yes. parts that I should probably go through one day. Oh, that used to be a laptop and some other parts. Need to bring that next time we have an e-recycling event. And let's see, a bunch of old computers. Just junk, I mean collectibles. Oh, look what we have here, Ooh, uh, oh. Atari 800XL. Now I believe wow. Dick, that is the computer that replaced the one that was, could not be obsolete. <laughs> yes. And, oh, look at that. Timex oh, Sinclair the 1000. Now, this was a powerful computer and great for touch typing if you were five. <laughs> and there's an old Crosley radio, and what's that on top of it? Oh, my God. It's an autograph Mad Magazine from 2007 with, oh, look at that. Match game questions. But Ta -da. my gadget for today is a Simpson Model 1000 tube tester. Now, Dick, I'm sure you remember going down to Radio Shack and testing tubes. Well, this is probably the portable model that people used when they did house calls, back when people did house calls. This model was originally made in 1954 and sold for $135. It was in my dad's garage for the last 20 or 30 years, and the last time we were home, uh, he gave it to me. 
I have quite a few old radios and even an old tube TV, so I'm sure it'll get plenty of use. Now I do have quite a few uh, other gadgets that he's given me over the years, some of them uh, dating back to the early 1900s, and I'll save those for future videos. Thanks for watching my gadget video. I love your show, been a fan for many years. I was a little worried when I heard Leo was leaving, but Chad, the show's been even better with you. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you so much. That is... So, uh, I would include like $20 when you send him uh, his uh, gift. Back. I should. I should. Uh, should yeah. yeah. And it's, you, know, you know, outside of that piece of equipment that's uh, part of our set, you probably have never seen anything powered by tubes, right? No, oh, gosh. Yeah, no. I, I mean, in, 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 definitely I didn't use anything powered by tubes. Uh, yeah. Did I you mean, know about tubes? I knew about tubes. I knew about tubes because <laughs> okay. I was uh, I was fascinated. We watched a um, a documentary about transistors when I was in middle school, and uh, that they replaced tubes. And I was just I, I was fascinated that transistors were such a hard thing to do, um, and then that transistors are also what powers all of computers, and that's you know that's how processors work in a, in a sense. Um, and so, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, very, very cool stuff. So, and that closet, how cool yes. is that? Yes. Is that gadget closet? Um, and that, that's very funny because he referred to a couple of weeks ago, um, a letter of the week was a guy who sent in that Atari ad that this computer would never, ever be obsolete. And yes. then he showed us the Atari XL, which was the one that made the one that would never, ever be obsolete. <laughs> obsolete. obsolete. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that was great. kind of fun. Great yeah. video. That was a great video. So uh, we're always looking for new videos. And if you have a video, we, we love warehouse videos, but we'll also take my favorite gadget of all time. Uh, I bought a piece of crap. I invented this. And uh, like Dennis, just make a little video, two to three minutes tops. Put it on YouTube and send us the link, and it goes to gizwiz at twit.tv. And like Dennis, you'll get a piece of crap from the warehouse. You'll get an autographed Mad Magazine, an old Alfred E. Newman picture, and fame beyond your wildest dreams. Like someone in the chat room might say, hey, I saw your video. If, Something like that. Yeah, fame beyond your wildest dreams uh, if your dreams are nightmares. Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. Or if you dream really small. Or if you dream really small. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, it's funny. I need. I, I kind of need a fan in here. I still have a lot of uh, fog. Oh, you have a lot uh, of fans. Yeah. Don't so worry we're about gonna. That. Well, we're actually gonna get this new robotic fan in here. Oh, uh, oh wow! This is uh, Padre uh, has found this amazing drone. How much does this drone cost? Fifty bucks. Fifty dollars. Oh, wow. um, and it's it's. <laughs> how much does it cost Woo. now? Now, now, how much would you pay? I just saw my life uh, flash before my eyes. Whoo! Not sure of the, the depth. What do you want? The depth of where that was aiming kind of showed. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> thanks, Padre, for showing off that. Let's jump into the letter. I'm gonna here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Bye, drone. <laughs> Yikes. <sighs> okay, the drone's out of here. Let, okay, we have teased it all letter. episode now long. What is the letter this week? The letter is from DJ Pork Chop Grove, who says, I wanted to let you know I found the listing on Amazon for that light Chad showed on last Thursday's Gizwiz. Unfortunately, he got hosed. <laughs> <laughs> Better luck next time, Chad. I love the show. Keep up the poor work. And he sent us a link. Not this only did Chad get hosed, oh my I gosh. wanted one of those desperately. And so right after last week's show, I ordered one on Amazon for $14.50. Now, I did get it in two days, 
It is uh, running in the background, but this looks identical. Identical. And it costs $3.52. Exactly. And uh, it is free shipping. Now, I have to tell you, when I, I ordered, Dennis wanted one. Mm -hmm. uh, for that price, I had to have a spare. I ordered one, and I got an email that said it is being shipped, and I will have it between the first and second week of November. So, yeah, long ship so, time. Yeah, so it does right. take like a month or so to get it. But, folks, it is... Under four bucks versus a little more than fourteen bucks. Yeah, to jog, jog people's memory, we spent twenty dollars on ours. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot. Twenty dollars at Spirit of Halloween, and then we found it for fifteen online, and that's when you bought it with Prime, and now all the way down to three dollars and fifty cents. So many people in our office have have already bought it. I've bought three. I know that Twit bought three. Jeff, did you buy any? Jeff didn't buy any. He's he he will dish it out, but he won't take it himself. <laughs> um, yeah, he bought the spaghetti fork. In, in fact. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, but yes, yeah, so uh, we've all, all we're all gonna get them all in a month or two, and uh, in in revel in. In the time pool. for New Year's Eve. Exactly. Which is perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, it turned out, Chad, that I went to my local Halloween store. Mm -hmm. With ever, without ever looking at the name, and it's a spirit store. It's the spirit of Halloween. Yeah. I so I said to the, I look, Dennis and I looked everywhere, up and down, um, and I said, you know, where's the, uh, you don't have lighting here. And she said, well, this is one of our smallest stores. You have to go downtown to one of our major stores where we have lighting effects. So um, that's, that's, when I went back and uh, ordered it on Amazon. Wow. So if you have a spirit store with you, you could also try the thing that I tried, and that was um, see if they have it, go back on Halloween Day, which yes. is when the store is going to close and sells out everything for half price. You might get it for seven fifty or $10, but you'd have it in hand. Wow. that th You know what? I must admit, it it it's a great effect for not needing to have a uh, a mirrored ball and everything built into the globe itself. Yeah. And and if ours are that bright for four bucks, I'm going to be very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. If it's the same brightness, this is intense. I mean, obviously, I'm three inches from it, so it's going to be the brightest yeah. that it can be. But even even when it's on the wall, I mean, I'm no, it's we're great. Still very very impressed with it. It's so. great. Um, yeah, for three dollars and fifty cents, get your own. Uh, it will most likely ch ship very slowly, but uh, but yeah, great. <laughs> Thanks you so much for sending that in. Um, yeah, DJ. Uh, DJ Pork Chop Grove. Thank you for making us all feel sad. Yeah, <laughs> but you made a lot of people shopping. happy. You made a lot of people happy who got in for three fifty two. <laughs> Now, don't forget to play the What the Heck Is It game at gizwiz.biz. Woo! Uh, you, there, uh, at gizwiz.biz. Scroll down, find the What the Heck Is It banner, click on that, and uh, you get to see what, what the heck is this. And you can see now, now that we know this is what this next month's... Um, uh, yeah, that's a December issue December is what issue. you'll be winning if you win. Perfect. Whose arms are those? Who models for... For Alfred, for, e. for Alfred e. Newman, well, every artist does their own Alfred E. But yeah, he looks kind of strong in that. Yeah, yeah. he looks yeah. pretty like <laughs> working out. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, what the heck is this? You have to decide. Um, it, this is the whole gadget. There isn't. Uh, no, I just had hidden. a thought. It's yeah. possible these are what our disco bulbs are gonna look like when they arrive. Yeah. So we may be disappointed. <laughs> you were buying the lenses for the disco <laughs> bulb. You're buying this uh, this little part right here. The outer, yeah, right. Um, so that's definitely what it is. Uh, unfortunately, that's how it shipped from Amazon. So that constitutes a full gadget. Uh, this uh, this this t this go around. Yeah, the four things. If you buy it, that's exactly what you right. get. Right. Exactly. Uh, there are 12 Mad magazines for correct answers, but 24 double the Mad magazines for funny, interesting, or hilarious answers. So uh, please 
send those in. What are we going to do? I'm just realizing right now, what are we going to do for Christmas, for the holiday season? Because do we need to p ask people for best of submissions? Oh, that's Kinda. not a bad idea. We'll yeah, figure maybe it their out. Yeah, maybe favorite. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. We can think about things, but right. one thing might be uh, the favorite thing you bought from hearing about it on the Gizwiz during right. the earlier part of this year. Right, and we we have a, a URL set up, uh, twitter.tv slash best of. Um, oh. And so if you remember the, maybe the episode that we talked about it, you can add, add that to, it's just a Google form uh, page. Uh, or if something big happened, um, or I think we could take, uh, let's take viewer videos. We're not sure, we, we yeah, well, it'll be a seven hour Gizwiz. <laughs> um, uh, well, we can't do the best of the Gizwiz because there, there's never any submissions, never, but gadgets never we the can best. do. Never the best, yes. The <laughs> best no, gadgets no. of the Gizwiz. We don't do the best. Um, no. So there it is at twitter.tv slash best of. Oh, we'll that's what it looks I like. I think okay. we'll, we'll brainstorm and we'll come back next week with a better idea of how, what we're going to do for the, the how, uh, Christmas uh, season. We're already putting up the Christmas decorations, guys. Uh, in the stores. So. In the brick house? Right. Oh, my word. Oh my. <laughs> uh, but that's what it feels like. We're already thinking about uh, holiday time. Um, if you want to catch the, the Gizwiz live, you can do so at live.twit.tv. We record on Thursdays around 4.30 Pacific time. Uh, that's about 7.30 Eastern time. But if you don't catch it live, don't worry. We have on-demand versions at twit.tv slash gizwiz going all the way back to episode one which is over 1,400 episodes ago. So you have years of entertainment ahead of you if you have missed uh, all those previous shows. Um, and, and if you want to see the Gizwiz in person, the meetup coming up October 19th, a Sunday, 2 to 4 p.m. Uh, again, go to gizwiz.biz and click on Dick's log and blog. And all the info is there. Last year we had 40 people. Uh, we play match game, we play other games, and you get free stuff that I don't want. And you just Perfect. might want. Perfect. So, uh, come to the meetup. Yeah. And, and shoot me an email. Uh, Dick at, uh, the address is there, gizwiz at AOL.com. And uh, just say meetup or meetup plus one or two. Just so we get a vague idea so the Boat Basin Cafe can give us a, a certain amount of space for all of us. And I think that wraps it up for this week of the Gizwiz. We'll be back next week. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>